Now, today is the day that the lift and flash are installed. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, ice, stretch, white, wrist, bad, bitch. All right, guys, you see where she's at now as far as the height uh, goes on the truck. Now, what I'm going to do now is try to give you guys an example by giving you guys a rule of thumb. So, you can see the phone here, and I got like another inch or so over the phone, right? Now, we're going to get three inches in the front and two inches in the rear which should level this truck out and make it i think significantly higher which i'm gonna enjoy and we are here at four wheel parts to get this done so let's go ahead and go in and get it done all right guys there is the truck and she's now being dropped off here at four wheel parts Boy, you know what? <laughs> you don't really realize how important your car is until it's in the shop and you're getting something done. Uh-oh. Woo! So now, we got four hours. We got four hours to waste. I, I say waste. To see what is going on what's going to happen all that good stuff four hours so oh i guess uh i'll stop wasting time and you guys will see the truck next all right guys so you guys are getting to see this thing first oh my god <laughs> Remember, oh my God, look at this thing of beauty now. Like if you could see the absolute shit eating grin on my face right now. Oh my God, this thing looks good. And it's leveled and it's just, wow. Look at this lift, guys. And you can see it, it's right there that right there that's awesome all right so there you have it guys damn this thing looks like a friggin beast this thing looks like a monster man oh my god all right this is officially 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 ridiculous we're ready to go now oh boy okay so remember before there wasn't that much room between the two now you can see it's almost three phones deep instead of just two. Wow. All right, guys. So this is just a little bit more of an in-depth view of the lift kit. So basically what happened is you can see that piece right there. And that basically adds a couple of inches um, to the suspension. Now, it didn't really stress... The control arm, we're gonna go down here sideways. You might have to turn your thing sideways. Now you can see I got a little tiny bit of a turn there on the control arm. Not much, you know, I, could I use extended control arms? If I go higher on the lift, probably, but I think that right there on the ball joint is gonna be fine. The alignment's all nice and done. You can see everything's all nice and greased up. Same thing over here, not much different, you know. Everything looks good. Not too much craziness. And then the same thing here in the rear where they put these blocks, these blocks in. You see what I'm saying? So overall, pretty good. So what is the best way to break out a new lifted vehicle with a new computer flash uh, program? Well, take it on a road trip, of course. 
So we're on the way to Washington, D.C., and we are leaving South Florida at the moment. Rah. And heading on to Washington, D.C., so uh, stay tuned. All right, so we are on the road trip, and I wasn't going to do anything or post anything yet, but I don't have a choice. Like what I just saw. Now I'm in North Florida. This isn't Miami. But oh shit. Wait a minute. Here we go. My man is coming out here with some fucking skinny tight Pumas. Right? Wearing some Nikes. A Gucci hat. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I shouldn't laugh. It was it's probably disrespectful for me to laugh. But when y'all see, when y'all see this chick come out here in a minute, you're going to understand what I'm laughing, what I think is hilarious. Because this is where chicks is wearing, we're in the part of Florida where people are wearing cowboy boots, jeans, cowboy hats. They say y'all here, okay? This is, this is more Georgia-ish than Miami-ish. And this chick looks like... She just walked out of space. Like, and I don't mean out of space, like the space program. There's a club in Miami called Space. And shout out to y'all that know what I'm talking about. Damn it, man. Come on, cash register dude. Check her out already. We want to see her come out because this is freaking hilarious. Y'all are prolonging. Yo, look, she's over there. She in there biting her nails. I don't know if y'all can see it. I might have to zoom in on this video. She's literally in there biting her nails because this dude that looks like he should be on the Chris Hansen show is in there taking forever to count her change because more than likely she is from Miami and she ain't have nothing but hundreds so he had <laughs> he had to break his drawer he had to break his drawer to get into there you know to be able to take care of it oh look at what this dude is doing some some Bruce Lee shit yo <laughs> yo look he had to do a double take oh my god <laughs> Oh my God! Look, man. Enough said. I don't even. I I I got I got I, I got nothing to say. I can't say shit. That shit is hilarious. I'm sorry. And it looks like they're like a fucking car dealer or something, right? Because they're getting into a car that says loaded or fully loaded or whatever on it. Anyways, I just thought it was funny. I thought it was something that y'all should see. All right, guys. So we just crossed thirteen thousand miles. I'm gonna have a separate video for you guys on uh what i think about this truck over the time that i've had it uh which is almost ten thousand miles now um but the big thing is fuel economy has been great uh in the truck since i've had the lift on this little jaunt so far and uh we'll go through and i'll look and see what i got on this tank so far so i'm averaging 20.8 miles per gallon so far on this tank of fuel and I've put, okay, I've put 8,152 miles on this truck, and I've got 18.4 um, miles a gallon. Like I said, overall, I really can't complain with what this thing has accomplished. And I'm actually kind of impressed with this, and I'll be doing an entirely separate video for you guys on that coming soon. This was just more about how the truck ran and drove um, since it since it was lift it and i'm hoping that me telling you guys about it giving you guys my thoughts and impressions helps on whether you want to level out your tahoe and yes even somebody my size it's hard to get in and out of the damn thing so it gives you just an idea of where it's at with the rear lift Man. Hmm. I didn't think about that. I'm guessing the tires will throw more dirt and more stuff on it at that height. Oh well. Alright guys, so basically if I have all this edited together, this basically becomes like a bonus video for you guys today. And uh here's my impressions. Um I am five miles from south of the border in South Carolina. And we drove this thing all the way up from Miami since we've had the lift. 
Now, I'm going to get into a completely separate video about the Edge programming system for the truck. I, I, that's going to be a separate video. I, I promise I'm going to get into that in depth. The horsepower gains, all that kind of crazy stuff. Right now, we're just talking about how the truck has performed, any gas mileage hits, things of that nature from the lift. Now, I will say this. Since the truck has been lifted and leveled, so it's more like a box. It's not like this, okay? It's more flat, right? It has gone into V4 mode much less. Now, I have not turned that off yet with that. That's a whole nother video, and I'll explain what's going on with that in that video. But overall, um, I'm still getting about 20 to 22 miles a gallon with it staying in V8 mode for the most part. Uh, lifted. So three inch lift in the front, two and a half in the rear. It's leveled out. Um, I'm enjoying it. it. It definitely, I don't want to say woke the truck up, but makes it feel more like a truck, right? I'm now, when I'm driving down the road and I'm looking down at Rams, basically, and F-150s, and then like I'm on par with what a normal Silverado or a, a, a 2500 would be, like, I feel like I'm sitting where I need to sit in this thing now, right? Now, I know people are going to say, why not a six-inch lift? Eh, we'll see. But look, so far, I like the way it drives. I like the way that it feels. Um, I don't feel a lot of wind resistance or headwind as I'm driving. Um, you can see I got my hands off the wheel now, and the alignment's great. Everything's great. It's running like a champ. So, uh, yeah, the lift on this truck was a definite win, and I'm... Um, a little bit past halfway to my uh, trip. I'm on my way to Washington, D.C. So you guys will get to see how the truck uh, runs around potholes and crazy stuff in D.C. here soon. But anyways, this was just a bonus video showing you guys the lift. I told you I was going to give you guys that video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give the video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Because there will be more and more videos on mods. Because I'm going to mod the crap out of this truck why do i want to hear the mexican hat dance every time i see south of the border and look it's amazing but it's true there's still there's no wall here yet there's no wall there's no wall now that's a joke between north and south carolina people shout out to my people in north carolina that know what i'm talking about shots fired